everyone. So today we are going to be making our buffalo check pumpkin soap. Um, for this soap, I am making a buffalo check pattern in the middle of the soap bar and then I'm going to have pumpkins on top. So the buffalo check is going to be like I'm aiming for like sage green colors and then the white and then like a dark sage green. And then on the top I have these little pumpkins that are um, a marbled white and blue, a white and a lighter green color. So those are gonna go on the top of the soap. Um, the soap is gonna be quite a lengthy process. I have to make a separate loaf of like striped soap here and then chop it up and use it in another two loaves. So if you wanna see how I make this buffalo check pattern, please keep watching. This is my first time attempting this, so I'm assuming if you are watching this video that it worked out, hopefully. So yeah, if you wanna see how we make this soap, keep watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who's subscribed already. It means the world to me. I really love sharing how to make these products and giving small business tips and trying to help everyone out from things I've learned along the way. So let's get started. <laughs> Because I want these layers in the soap to be as straight as they possibly can be, I am going to be mixing each layer up separately. So like I said, it's going to be a very lengthy process. I do have my fragrance oil measured out and the green color I'm going to use. I measured this out for both processes that I'm going to do because I didn't want to try to match the colors. I wanted them to match. This is going to be the color of the darkest green. And then I'm going to measure out titanium dioxide for each layer too for the light green. So for this first part of this soap, I'm going to be doing layers of dark green and light green. And and then for the other soap, I'm going to be doing white and light green. So it sounds very complicated. I'll try to explain it as best as I can, but we are going to start mixing out the first layer. So I have, I'm actually doing six layers, but I have it divided out by seven because I added more soap batter in here to try to make the loofah soaps too, because I'm trying to add to that collection of my loofah soaps. And the fragrance I'm using is Sweater Weather by Midwest Fragrance Co. So I have everything written down here of how much lye I need, how much coconut milk I need, and how much oils I need for each layer. So I'm gonna get everything ready because I have no idea if this fragrance is going to accelerate. I'm kind of hoping that it does a little bit so I don't have to wait too long between the layers, but I just have to be prepared if I have to work quickly. All right, so first I'm gonna pour my oils into here. So I need 5.7 ounces of oil. There we go. And then I'm going to mix up coconut milk, kaolin clay, and I also have sodium lactate in here and a little bit of powdered sugar to boost the lather. I'm gonna mix that up, make sure it's very well incorporated. And I need 0.62 ounces. There we go. And for the lye, I need 1.7 ounces. And then I have my scoop here. Give my um, mica oil a little mix too, just because I have different colors in there. I mixed Klein Blue, Green Vibrance, and a little bit of mocha in here to try to neutralize and darken the color a little bit. But I'm going to put one scoop this is going to be the dark first. So I'm gonna actually do two scoops of this in here and see how that looks. And this is just one teaspoon. All right, let's stick one this and see how it looks. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the fragrance oil in here. stir this a little bit to try to pop some of those air bubbles. It's kind of impossible to not get air bubbles in there when there's so little soap batter. 
and it is very thin. So the fragrance oil is not accelerating or rising. It's actually performing very well. Hopefully it doesn't discolor either because I'm going to be using white. All right, I'm going to pour this in. All right, and then I'm going to let that set up and we'll be back. All right, so I have everything in this container for the next layer, which is going to be the lighter green color. So I added one teaspoon of my mica oil mixture and then one and a half teaspoons of my um, titanium dioxide. And I have my fragrance oil in here already too, now that I know how it behaves. All right, so let's blend this up. All right, and I have another spatula here for the light green color. And I'm gonna pour it in here and I'm gonna use the spatula to break the fall as best as I can. All right, I just hit that down to try to make it as even as possible. All right, let's go to the next layer. This is the first part of the soap, so I'm gonna let this set up and then I'll show you how I'm gonna cut it and finish the soap up. Hey everyone, so we are back the next day to cut up the striped mold that I made yesterday. Um, I am a little disappointed because it did gel. You can see the gel ring. I'm really hoping that doesn't affect the final product. Um, it seems like it gelled a lot. Hopefully it looks okay. If not, I might have to rebatch this sometime and just make another one because it might not give the effect that I was looking for, but we'll, we'll see. So in order to cut this, we need to cut it not like this. We need to flip it and we want it cut like this because that's going to give us the one of the rows in the buffalo check. And I have my log splitter right here. I think I got this from Workshop, Workshop Heritage. I'll link down where I bought it. I ordered it off Etsy. They also have a website. But I set it at half of an inch. So you can, these all go up by a quarter inch. So I set it at half. So I'll have half inch rows. This is really slippery too. So I'm gonna <laughs> have to have my hand here to hold onto it. Um, but you just push this through and it will slice the loaf. First slice is done. So that's what it looks like on the inside, but we're gonna put it in the loaf like this. I'll show you that later. So the gel it looks it looks fine. I don't actually I don't think it will affect the final result too much. Hopefully not. All right. 
So we are going to slice this again and always double check to make sure that you're slicing it the right way. Otherwise it will not have that effect that you're... to push through. <laughs> Shoot the table being so slippery. Perfect. Here's another. All right. There we go. This one is slightly larger. That's okay. I'm not gonna trim it. Um, we are ready to make the rest of this. Um, I'm gonna prepare my lye solution and my oils because I do want them at room temp. So we will be back when we are ready to actually mix up the soap. Hey everyone, so we are back today to make the Buffalo Check soap. So as you saw previously, I put the loaf through the log splitter and cut it into these stripes. And then I just placed them here, leaving spaces between to give like that Buffalo Check pattern. It's kind of hard to see the stripe on the bottom, so I'm gonna do the best I can to get it lined up with the stripes. But again, we're gonna be doing layers just like we did for this except we're gonna be pouring in these spaces. So for, there's two colors in this, it's the darker green and then the lighter green. So every time it's the darker green, I'm going to recreate this lighter green. And then every time it's the light green, I'm gonna make it white. So bear with me, you'll be able to hopefully see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm actually a little nervous for this. <laughs> but let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna use the same measurements that I did for, oh wow, I need a stick blender. All right, so we are back. I have my stick blender and I have my strainer for the lye. So we are just going to um, do the same measurements that I did before, how I split up the batch. Since the first stripe down on the bottom here is a dark green, I'm gonna do the light green. And for the light green, just like the last one, I did a teaspoon of this green mixture and a teaspoon and a half of titanium dioxide. I need 0.62 ounces of my milk mixture. Five point seven ounces of oil. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. <laughs> she barks at just about everything. There we go and 1.7 ounces of lye. And I'm just gonna strain it to get the lilac out. So for the white, I'm not gonna put um, fragrance in just because I'm scared it's gonna discolor it. So I'm gonna stick blend this. Try to pop as many air bubbles as I can out of here. It's really hard when there's not that much mixture. And I actually had to remake this loaf right here, these stripes, um, because one, it gelled <laughs> and it was very noticeable. And um, I didn't wanna work with it if I thought I wasn't gonna like the final products, I didn't wanna waste more soap. And it discolored, because the fragrance I used previously, there was no vanilla in it or vanillin, but it's still discolored. Um, so for this fragrance, I'm actually mixing two from Midwest Fragrance Co. It's Balsam Fur and Tangerine Passion. And I did 75% Balsam Fur and 25% Tangerine and it smells so good. I love it. But I actually rebatched this one and I will make a video on how I did that. It's very simple. All right, I think this is mixed in enough. I'm very happy that it's very fluid because I have to pour this extremely carefully. <laughs> so I'm gonna move these a little closer to me so I can try to tell where the stripes are, but I am going to very carefully pour this in. All right, so it's just thickening up, unfortunately. <laughs> Stir it again, hopefully it'll thin it out a little bit. Try to blend it a little bit less next time. Alright, I'm gonna hit these. Did 
need more in this corner. That's it. Just like that. And there's really no way I'm gonna be able to get this perfect. Um, so I'm just gonna try my best. It will get a lot easier once I can get it closer to the top, just because I can actually see. <laughs> I'm just pushing down the soap batter that I got on the edges. Okay, so we have this extra. All right, we're back to mix the white layer. I started off with just one, what is it, one teaspoon of titanium dioxide. I'm gonna see if I need more. And actually, sorry, it's not one teaspoon of titanium dioxide, it's one teaspoon of the titanium dioxide water mixture that I have. All right, I'm gonna stir this a little bit to try to get the air bubbles out, at least most of them. And I'm gonna quickly pour this while it's still fluid. I'm gonna actually put a little bit of fragrance oil in the rest of this, just a tiny bit, because I'm using this little heart mold for samples. I want it to be scented, obviously. decorate the top and I'm gonna texture it a little bit I think it's a little bit thick enough yep to texture not too much because this is such a thin layer I'm just gonna kind of go like this like formed a crust I don't really want it to be a lot of this is gonna get covered up anyway I don't really want it to be like super flat though I'm just gonna bounce it again just because it's such a thin layer I'm just gonna try to break this layer up a little bit Okay, I'm gonna make a super small batch of frosting to pipe some vines. There we go. All right, so I made some pumpkins again. <laughs> so I have like a marbled blue, it's like marbled with white and then blue pumpkin. I have a green, close to the green that's inside, and then I have white. So I'm just gonna put these on here, um, kind of like how I did the other ones. And these aren't marked, so. All right, so this mold, this wooden mold right here is marked, so I'm just gonna line them up really good and place these pumpkins. I don't think I have enough pumpkins to have a blue one on every single bar, but I'm going to try to. I'll see if I can get one on every bar. All right, 
right, I am going to try to make some blue pumpkins really fast and we will be back. All right, so I was able to make some more pumpkins for the blue ones for the soap. So here is the top. As of now, I think I am gonna pipe on it. A little indecisive. So cute. I'm really nervous how the metal's gonna look. But we will find out. All right. I don't know if I'm gonna pipe or not. I kinda wanna just leave it. Just cause I piped on a different one that I made. Two hours later. All right, I'll be back once I decide. All right, so I'm actually just gonna um, put some fairy dust around it. This is like a spray glitter for bath products. I've already done it, but I don't have any soaps. I have one soap for this release that has glitter on it and I love glitter. So I'm gonna put this on it instead. Hey everyone, so we are back for the cut of the Buffalo Check so I did just put glitter on the top. I didn't add vines or anything. It looks good right here, you can kind of tell. So I'm just gonna chop the end off of it really quick. And there we go, it looks great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So you can tell which stripes I did beforehand and <laughs> which stripes I did the second time around. Um, but this middle part, for the most part, turned out really good. Um, it was really, really hard to see the stripes down below. But and then there's the top. It's so cute. I want you to come over. I wish that you would come and give me something to prove. You pull me closer. I think that I'm obsessed with everything that you do. Ooh. I'm waiting, trying to be patient. You look like a pain, and it's so frustrating. I hate it, yeah. I probably shouldn't say this. I probably should erase it. I probably shouldn't say this. Buffalo check soap. I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. And hit the notification bell if you want to be notified anytime we upload a video. Bye everyone. See you next time.